Hi guys, it's Adam, and today I've got an episode of Thursday Talks, um, episode 25 I think this is, so yeah, I mean, it just goes so quick. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, I have got to pause the video because I'm going down to the post office actually. Um, so I'll do half the questions or roughly half and then I'll head down to the post office. Um, I just feel like I need to get that done. I've just been it's just been so busy the last few days. I've, I've had order after order after order. Um, even Amazon. I've had a few orders on Amazon. And as you may well know, I'm not really putting much attention into FBA at the moment. So that's really good. I had um, two sales the other day for 40 odd quid. So that was really good. Um, and I'm not even really, as I say, I'm not really focusing on that. So that, that was nice just to have a bit of money tick over there. Um, so yeah. Alex firstly asks, um, what are the benefits of having a featured shop? And he also asked on the comment, um, do I have a featured shop or a basic? Um, I do, I have a, I have a basic account, but I am thinking of upgrading to a featured, uh, a feature or featured. I don't know whether it's feature or featured. Um, yeah, when I get to about 550, so I'm going to upgrade. So in terms of the benefits i don't know because i've not really looked into it but i do know i'm pretty sure that it's 1200 um free listings per month instead of the 200 of a basic shop so i think that's the main benefit really which 1200 um yeah 1200 free listings so next chris asks um how do you clean your lego can all parts be clean do you you know do i um do I leave out some parts because maybe they have stickers on or things like that? Um, the answer is I clean it in a bucket. Um, basically, I have a bucket, a big brown, big black bucket, and I just clean it that way. Um, I just put in lukewarm to to warm, yeah, sort of warm water, not boiling. Don't put in boiling water because then it'll warp the bricks. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. Like, I put it in a black, a black um, a little bucket, as I say. Probably, I don't know. I don't know how many liters are in the bucket, but you know, like that sort of size. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, so a bucket sort of that sort of size. Cram it all in there. I do two or three loads if I need to. Um, put my lukewarm to warmish boil. You know, warm water in, not boiling. Sorry. Um, yeah, put my sort of lukewarm to warm water in there with my soap obviously you know get the soap going around swirl it around a bit leave it in there for a few hours tip it out into a colander um, and you may need to do a few tips and, and stuff then i run it under again warmish water to get all the soap off it inside the colander give it a shake inside the colander whack it on a tea towel not a tea towel a, a big towel sorry um and I actually have my own towel just for Lego um, now because I was I was first using the, the bathroom towels, um, but my mum said, "Look, just uh, look, just get a towel. I'll give you a towel. I'll give you one of these." So I just I've got my own towel for that now. So um, yeah, uh, that's. I mean, it's not really the most exciting thing to talk about, but yeah, it, it's quite basic. It's not you know anything complicated. Um, I do leave out stickered pieces and you know depending on whether they need a clean or not I'll I'll just do them quickly by hand um, and there's not usually a, a ton of stickered pieces in the lot um, but yeah so what I'll do is I'll just do a primary search before I clean the, the Lego get out any stickered pieces or anything like that or any rare pieces I can see and I'll leave them out and do them separately but you know every every now and then a stickered piece will get washed anyway but usually it's not too bad the sticker will usually sort of stay on but to be honest on most sticker pieces i just take the sticker off now unless it's like a really rare piece um, what i'll do is i'll just take the sticker off and whack it in the kilo job lot anyway um but yeah rare pieces like rare bricks that i know are worth money i'll keep them to one side if i can you know if i when i'm doing my primary search before i clean it if I find any rare pieces, I'll keep them to one side, wash them, uh, I'll wash them separately. Um, and the reason for that is because in the bucket, when you're sw swilling it round, I do stir it round as well. Um, and 
it's just banging with other lego bricks and if it's a rare piece you don't really want that so that's what i do with that um he also asks are there any better days of the week in cs in charity shops um i used to think there were i mean i used to think thursdays for some weird reason i'd have this fixation in my mind that oh thursday oh actually it's thursday today isn't it but well, that's weird um yeah uh thursday i mean everything in my life of though i'm thursday it's so weird um yeah I used to think Thursday, it's Thursday. Every time I've been in on a Thursday or a Friday, you know, the day after, I think, oh yeah, it, 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 there's loads of stock. And I think I was just kidding myself. I don't know, maybe we do do it on a Thursday, but I think I was just kidding myself, to be honest. It was more of a placebo effect of me thinking there was loads of stuff there and actually I hadn't got a great deal. Um, but yeah, I think it, on a lot of the chat shops, I know it's a daily thing they put stock out. So um there's one shop i go to and they have a sign they literally have a sign saying new stock out daily so you know i sort of know they put stock out daily um so yeah it's just look of the draw i mean it really is it's just look of the draw um you know just go in as much as you can on a weekly basis i go three times a week um sometimes four um i do three times a week charity shops usually and then i'll do a car boot so four sourcing trips a week and i still want to go out sourcing more I, I if i if i could i would go out sourcing eight hours a day every day literally i would not do anything else i absolutely love it um and hopefully i will be able to do that at some point you know i mean i think it'll get to the point if i'm full time i think i'll still obviously i'll still enjoy sourcing but um i think you know i might just get a little bit tired of it doing it for for so long you know if, if i were to do it that you know that much you know like the, the likes of raking profit and you know all the guys in america who do it like every day it might just get a little bit tiring but i think i'll still enjoy it but yeah if i if i could source every day i would i would do it if you can get in the charity shops four three or four times a week i would say do it the more you put yourself in front of that stock the better it is as so many resellers on youtube have said um and it's completely true the more you do it the more you source each week the more you're gonna you know potentially get um so that's that one i think should i leave it there or do this one um no i'll do this one and then we're getting on to the one funny question of the day um he also says again this is chris um are the better times of the year are there better times of the year um for cs i wrote down are the better times of the year but it's are there um yeah i've not done it long enough i can't possibly comment on that maybe if you get back to me in a year's time this point next year i'll have done it for two years we sign and then i've got a little bit of a profile built up um from what i know now i would say the lead up to christmas was okay in charity shops after christmas was okay february was a bit of a lull in the charity shops of what i remember then it picked up again in april and had a few good weeks in april then may it slowed down a bit it's just really weird it just like one month it's good the next month it's bad i really don't think you can put it down to a time i mean i'd say maybe as you did i think you did say the same comment maybe spring you know people having a clear out maybe after christmas people getting rid of unwanted gifts but to be honest i didn't see a massive spike after christmas of you know great things in charity shops I get a lot of charity shops to hold things back for me and they didn't have that much more um you know for me um after christmas so yeah i, I wouldn't say there's certain times of year but maybe if i had to say maybe spring or maybe after christmas but i don't really know I, as i say i can't completely comment on that because i've not done it for long enough you know as i say get back to me next year maybe in two years time if or when i'm still doing this i don't know you know hopefully i am still doing this um and you know get back to me and i will answer it probably a lot better than i can do now um but i'll leave it there 
Don't forget to put your questions below for next week. And if you haven't already, please do like this video or subscribe. Um, yeah, so I will see you very soon, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, again, I apologise. I have apologised many times in the past for Thursday talks being rushed. Um, but I like to get to the post office at a certain time. Um, I don't know why. It's just something weird with me. I, I like my routine. I like being regimented. So yeah, I wanted you know I just wanted to make sure I'm there at the post office uh, in that region of of time where I usually you know when I'm usually there, um, which is around twelve o'clock. Um, so yeah, hopefully it isn't quite twelve yet, and I can go down at the allotted time. Um, for some reason, I get really like stressed out if I'm you know if I'm not there on time. I don't know why. I don't know what it stems from, but. You know, it's just, I, I really do like regimented and, and routine. Um, so yeah, that'll, I'll leave it there, guys. As I say, I'm sorry it was rushed. Um, but yeah, I, anyway, I'll leave it there. So yeah, see you soon, guys. <laughs>